What's going on, ladies and gents? It's been a while. I wanted to talk to you guys about Aito and what kind of characters are going to be revived because of his arrival. Now, Aito is going to be coming out very soon here in a few days. Well, by that few, I mean like 16 days. That's quite a, that's quite a lot. But uh, regardless, Aito is going to be coming out soon. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a few characters that he's going to revive. Me saying revive also means that he's going to utilize really well in the same team. So these characters are actually not used in so many teams right now because of their very niche qualities and what they provide to usual teams. Now, the first character I wanted to talk about is Yunjin. Yunjin is actually a really good character in order for you to utilize normal attack damage. Normal attack damage is very, it's buffed using Yunjin. Yunjin has incredible amount of like talents to help her do that through her, uh, you know, burst, which actually increases the damage increased by 43% of her defense. This is super nice to have because not only that, because the more different types of elemental types you have on your team, the more your Yunjin is going to actually provide. In terms of a normal attack damage bonus, you're going to get more bonus upon how many different types of elements you have on your team. So the more variety you have on your team, the better your engine will be. And I highly think that this will actually be pretty good on a team with Ayato. He's going to provide so much normal attack damage bonus that Ayato is going to be an actual really good character with Yunjin on the same team. Not only that, but Yunjin actually has an insane multiplier on her amount of skill that, you know, she's going to do a lot of damage also. And she's just going to be a really easy character to build, really easy character to have that's going to boost your Ayato a lot. Yunjin is super easy to build, so I highly suggest you guys build her. You can go with the four piece of the you know, the husk set. This is going to be really easy. It's going to give her all the defense bonus that she needs. Obviously, you can really stack defense. It doesn't really matter what kind of set she has. But the more defense she has, the better she will buff. So, if you want, you guys also need to, you know, get your elemental bursts increased in talent. The elemental skill, you don't really need to increase it that much. But it will increase your damage per second. So, if you care too much, you know, a lot about that. Just uh, do that if you want to. So yeah, Yunjin is definitely going to be viable with Ayato when she does when Ayato does come out. So I do think she is going to be pretty great on their team. Now another character I hope will be revived. Of course, you're going to have to spend a lot more on this character or invest a lot more into this character because this character is going to be Toma. Toma is a character which was forgotten. A character that, you know, was released, but nobody really paid that much attention to him because he just didn't mesh well with the usual teams. He only had like a hotel team that was okay, but he didn't really mesh well because he overrides a lot of the reactions that we want from our usual team. So that's a little bit unusual and a little bit unfortunate for our Toma, but I do like him as a character and I'm really excited for him to come back, especially because of his concept. Obviously, you're going to have to invest a lot in order to actually get this constellation. This constellation allows you to get a 15% increase in normal attack damage. Of course, charge attack and plunging attack also. But the normal attack is where it's at. And this is really nice because while he is on your team, he is going to provide that beautiful pyro application. Obviously, <laughs> It's not going to be fast enough because he is still going to override some of the reactions on your team for Ayato. So he's not going to be incredibly good in that sense. But because it is the elemental skill that you're going to be using. But obviously he is still going to override some of the reactions that you might find important on Ayato's team. So it's going to be a little bit unfortunate in that sense that you know you won't really be able to you know provide that reaction that you do want from Ayato you know the vaporize the melt whatever it might be he's going to override some of those which you do not want which is unfortunate because he doesn't apply it that fast obviously we don't have Ayato yet we haven't tested him out so maybe if he does apply you know hydro not that quick and you know maybe Toma can apply pyro quicker than Ayato if that's the case then we will have a pretty good time with Toma otherwise he's also still going to be in the dumpster which I think is a pretty unfortunate, but he might be revived. He just might be. So I'm really excited to try Toma out 
if he is with if he does mesh well with Ayato. Other characters that will also be used with Ayato include, you know, Fischl, Beidou, all, all of the Electro characters that have Electro Charge in their actual kit are going to be utilized pretty well with Ayato because of Electro Charge. So I do think it's going to be a pretty good time, especially with Yaimiko. Yaimiko will also be utilized with Ayato pretty well. She has that, you know, elemental skill that does have the sub DPS capabilities that you want. And I also see Lisa being used because of her elemental burst. So she might actually be revived as well. She also, you know, reduces defense by 15%, which is pretty big. So if that's the case, it's going to be a pretty good time uh, overall. And that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know what you guys think, especially about Toma. I do think Toma will still override some of the reactions and will make him a little bit unplayable. But if he does... It, if he is able to be on that team with Ayato and he's going to be revived as a character, it's going to be a good time. So I really do hope that is the case. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. See you guys in the next video very soon. Bye.